Marshall, Michigan. San Bruno, California. Miramac Valley, Massachusetts. What do they all have in common? Each have suffered a loss of life and property due to pipeline ruptures. On July 25, 2010, a segment of 30-inch diameter pipeline ruptured in Marshall, Michigan. 17 hours passed before the rupture was discovered, saturating the surrounding wetlands with oil. The result? A billion-dollar cleanup of the Kalamazoo River and surrounding area. Less than two months later, a natural gas pipeline ruptured in a residential neighborhood in San Bruno, California. The explosion and fire instantly leveled 35 houses, damaged 70 structures, and injured over 60 people. Eight individuals lost their lives. In 2018, a natural gas distribution system overpressurized in Miramac Valley, Massachusetts, causing a series of explosions and fires which resulted in 131 structures being damaged and 22 injuries. One person lost their life. As a result of the Marshall, Michigan incident, a recommendation from the National Transportation Safety Board and reinforced by the other tragedies, the American Petroleum Institute, or API, published the Recommended Practice 1173 document, establishing a Pipeline Safety Management System, or PSMS. This document was the first to establish uniform, recommended practices for the oil and natural gas pipeline industry. Although not required by federal regulation, PSMS became a best practice for the industry. So what is Pipeline Safety Management System? First. It is a systematic way to continuously identify, monitor, and control hazards and risks for better decision making. PSMS is holistic. Everyone, company-wide, takes part in promoting safety and awareness. It provides a framework of goals, objectives, processes, and procedures. Finally, it encourages a continuous improvement cycle with the plan, do, check, adjust procedures. There are 10 foundational elements to PSMS. And as a natural gas operator, we know you do these things to ensure the safety of your system, your community, and your team every day. PSMS is a holistic way of recognizing and aligning your current practices. A lot of what you are already doing is PSMS. OQ, DIMP, emergency response, mock exercises, leadership recognition of safety. PSMS is the umbrella that pulls all of your safety management elements together. Best of all, PSMS is flexible and scalable. You can incorporate these practices at your own speed. It works for all gas systems, regardless of how many miles of pipe or employees you have. A successful PSMS also helps each employee know where they fit in and how they contribute to pipeline safety. Remember, PSMS is a way to manage your system, not a plan that sits on the shelf. The goal is to strive to find little ways to improve your existing practices and processes so you know you are spending your energy and resources in the right places. How do you get started? Visit the industry website, pipelinesms.org. There, you can access API's Recommended Practice 1173 document, helpful planning and implementation tools, and the PSMS Maturity Model, which is a quick reference guide for your progress. Also visit APGA's website, APGA.org, for a gap analysis tool for small operators. Implementing PSMS is currently a voluntary action, but it is recognized as an industry best practice. This is an industry effort, so please don't feel like you have to do it alone. There are lots of resources out there to help you on your PSMS journey.